Hello, this is Solar TV TV for the first time from Nigeria. And we have a pleasure to speak with a very dynamic and positive person, the guy who is bringing investors here to the country, Abu Bakar, who is working for NIPC, which is the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission. I liked so much your presentation, especially when you showed the major figures about the country. And actually, a lot of people, I suppose, around the globe, they don't realize how big potential is in Nigeria, actually. Well, Nigeria is the biggest economy in Africa. It's an economy of over 568 billion US dollars. Uh, it has a growing middle class. Nigeria is a consumer nation. Mm -hmm. um, it's a consumer nation and um, almost anything you bring into Nigeria is gone. So that means that anything you produce in Nigeria also is gone. Mm. So Nigeria is the place to be actually. And in terms of investments, because uh, I have to tell you the truth, yes, because uh, there is a lot of doubts, yes, about the investing in Nigeria in terms of security, maybe of financial problems of the countries, maybe instability, political instability. Could you just give arguments actually that it's not true and why actually investors should come to your country? Now, about uh, political instability, uh, we've proven to the world that our democracy has really matured. Uh, in Africa, you don't have a sitting president handing over power to the opposition. Mm -hmm. uh, we successfully conducted a free and fair election in Nigeria in 2015, and an incumbent president handed over to the opposition mm -hmm. without any problems. And so the issue of uh, political stability has been proven, yes, that we do have uh, political stability. When it comes to uh, the issue of security, yes, we have issues with security. Um, the insurgency, which is in the northeastern part of the country, but with the coming of the present administration, President Muhammadu Buhari has focused his attention to fight the insurgents, and as it is now, you can see that they've been contained. These people were in charge of lots of local governments initially when he came, and after a year and a half, they have been contained into just small pockets. Uh, the problem with insurgency is the security agencies have to get it 100% right. Mm -hmm. If you get it 99%, all the insurgent needs is 1%. Mm -hmm. And that 1% that he is able to explode a bomb, it sends negative signals. And uh, being in Africa and Nigeria, it's quite unfortunate that we don't have uh, the support of the Western media. Mm. Because anytime you hear the Western media talking about Africa, Nigeria, it's all about poverty, hunger, disease, and war, which is actually not fair to us. And actually, I was very surprised when I came to Abuja, you know? Actually, lots of investors are surprised when they come to Nigeria. Because when the story you hear about Nigeria is quite different from when you arrive in Nigeria. The people you meet, we're one of the friendliest people in the world. And I can confirm. And, uh, and uh, we are, because we are also one of the most exposed and traveled people in the world. So what you hear and what you meet are quite different. What about the financial situation? The financial situation, yes. Um, we have financial issues, but uh, as I spoke earlier in my presentation, the government is putting lots of things in place uh, to stabilize the Naira, and then also uh, the committee that I spoke to you that is chaired by the president, that is the Enabling Environment Committee, that is where her, that the, the, the secretariat is uh, in the NIPC, is working overtime to see that uh, you can, to make it easier to repatriate your profits and uh, to also see how they can tackle the many issues that exist in uh, the environment as regards to doing business. Because uh, what was very interesting, it was the fact, you know, that you have so a lot of like a tax incentives, financial incentives for all the investors coming to the country. But also I liked very much the slide with the investors who came to Nigeria and they became like a leader on the continent, like MTN, yes? Yes, apart from, you know, the fiscal incentives, which are the tax holidays and, and all, the, all of that, we have natural incentives as well. 
Hmm. Nigeria is a population of 170 million, and which sits in the middle of Africa. Mm -hmm. So if you turn Africa, Africa is like a pistol. And where do you think Nigeria is? Nigeria occupies the position of the trigger. Hmm. Now, a, a gun is useless without the trigger. And for it to work, you need the trigger. Mm -hmm. So Nigeria is the powerhouse of Africa. You have a population of 180, a growing middle class, and then you have a population that is 60% under the age of 30. Ah. Nigeria is in the ECOWAS sub-region. There are no walls in the ECOWAS sub-region. There, there is a population of 320 million. It's a huge market. It's a huge market. And these are all consumers. Mm. You produce in Nigeria, you export to the West African sub-region. And then Africa, North Africa, West Africa, East Africa, that's all of these places are provided for by Nigeria. And that's a population of 600 million. Wow, this is uh, really awesome, huh? Yes. And um, returning to the topic yes. of today's uh, event that we had, a very successful event, yes. I like so much, especially the family photo. Yeah? People were so motivated yes. even at the end of the event. Yeah? A lot of positive uh, thinking. So why actually NIPC decided to support this event? Are you happy actually with the outcome? I'm very happy. And uh, NIPC does much more than supporting events like this. Uh, we actually host many events that are similar to this. Um, as I said earlier, the NIPC is re-engineered. This is, an, this is a commission where you have energetic, young, bright people yeah, you showed your working, team. Uh, as I showed you, the team. And this is a team that works as a family. Mm. Um, it's more of getting results. It's not effort. We don't work and say, we've done this. As, no, 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 no. We work based on results. We deliver results. Uh, Nigers, for example, approached us. In a month, we had already signed MOUs. And after that, we didn't leave them because we hold your hand into Nigeria up to registering your kids in school. And then we still stay beside you. If we match make, it's not this like the proverbial saying that once you match make, you move back. We guide you, we mentor you. We are by you, we stand with you. So that's what NIPC is. So everything that NIGAS is going to do, the partnerships they're bringing in. With LTI? Will, yes, of LTI. And any other partnership that the SEBORI partnership, we midwifed it. We introduced them to SEBORI. We sat, we had meetings, they saw what SEBORI ah, so, okay, had. So you are not just, you know, uh, responding to the request, but you are anticipating it. Yes, yes, that's being highly proactive. Oh, and uh, right. the chief executive of the Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission, Iyawande Sadipu, has been an investment banker for the past 20 plus years. Mm. She, has, um, she, has, she has midwifed deals that run into trillions of dollars as an investment oh. banker. She came in from Stanwick, Stanwick IBTC mm -hmm. Bank, which is a member of the Standard, uh, Bank, mm -hmm. yeah, Standard Bank Group. Um, and uh, she's coming with new and fresh ideas. Um, and so positive woman also, yeah? Oh, very positive. And you see my director, Ladi Katago, these are people that mentor you, that uh, go the extra mile. You can call them in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., and then pick up your call. Because Nigeria is in the middle of the world. We can't sleep. Because when it's midnight here, it's morning in America. Yeah, exactly. When it's night here, it's when it's night in America, it's morning in China. And so being in between, you can't afford to sleep. Especially the person who is in charge of overseas. Yeah? Exactly. The per and we are all investment promotion officers. Mm -hmm. So from the chief executive down to the person that opens the gate for you when you come into the NIPC. And uh, Abukabar, so. Uh, you are working with the investments since 18 years, yes? I've been there for almost 18 years, yes. Exactly. And uh, how long you are, let's say, focused on clean energy industry or solar energy industry? You know, the, the concept of clean energy is just uh, coming in. It's a bit new to Nigeria. 
Um, and uh, now is a priority because the whole world is changing. And uh, as you earlier heard, the, the, the gentleman from China, he said they are advising Nigeria not to make the mistakes that China made. I was in China last month in Beijing. And uh, it was really, really, I had never seen that kind of uh, situation because every time I go, it's either in the spring or, or, or otherwise. Mm -hmm. This time that I went, the air quality was something else and it got me scared. Mm -hmm. I said, look, Nigeria should actually look at clean energy because we can't afford to have this kind of air in Nigeria. It will kill us. So, and the, the, the government, because it's, it's, been, it's uh, a signatory to many of the, 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 the climate change initiatives and agreements and all that, is really pushing green energy. And so, naturally, solar energy, wind energy, biomass is the way to go. Yeah. So, what are the next steps, let's say, uh, while helping, let's say, NIGO's uh, partnership with LTI and also maybe eventual investors who are watching now Solar PV TV? and uh, are considering entering to Africa, maybe through the gate of Nigeria. Now, NIPC is the gateway into the Nigerian economy. Um, now, with the Nigus LTI uh, investment okay. arrangement coming in, we already have uh, started by introducing them to Sebo. Mm -hmm. Adamawa is sharing borders with Cameroon, mm -hmm. with Chad, you know, mm -hmm. so and these are off takers of most of the things, and um, the, the 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 northeast is one of the most disadvantaged areas. So the incentives they get is more, mm -hmm. and then there is more market for what they're doing. So you see, it's uh, it's already a progress before it starts. It's a success. So Abukabar, the last question: yes. Do you believe in the clean energy future of your country? Oh yes, I do. I do. In fact, uh, clean energy is the future of the whole world because I truly believe, because uh, when back in the university, what I studied was ecology, arid zone ecology, and uh, I've all, uh, the first place I started working before coming to NIPC was the Ministry of Environment. Mm -hmm. So I was an environment officer. And the whole concept is that uh, to have a better earth, a better earth that was handed over to us for us to nurture it and hand it over to the next generation because we have if 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 what was being done now was done by the past generations we wouldn't have gotten an earth that is as good as this so it's our responsibility to clean up our act and as you see one of the biggest companies in africa which is an energy company that has contributed to degradation is now turning and going green. This was so awesome yeah, today. Yes. This so, so, so Nigeria, I have, I have lots of hope that Nigeria is actually going to go green. Thank you so much. That Thank was Solar TV TV with uh, Abu Kaba. Exactly. From NIPC. Who is believing in the solar future in Nigeria and clean energy future in Nigeria? And this future actually started today. Thank you. Thank to your agency. Yeah. Thanks for Thank watching. you very much. Thank you.